Thanks for joining us at 10 tonight. I'm Brent Solomon. Tonight, the St. Louis community paying its respects to a well-known puppeteer. A massive fire actually destroyed the home of Bob Kramer's marionettes in the Central West End last night. The studio theater has been a staple in St. Louis for more than 50 years. New tonight, we can report someone has died in that fire. We want to get right over to Five on Your Size, Travis Cummings, who's live on Laclede Avenue. Travis, any developments around who died in that fire? Brent, our crew was on scene this afternoon when the body was recovered from this historic building. It is unclear right now. It has not been confirmed by authorities who exactly it was, but it is presumed that Kramer himself died while his partner was able to escape. Now at this hour, there is a growing memorial for the artists who lived inside this home and studio theater and who many say anchored the art scene here in St. Louis. What we've lost uh, is a cultural institution that uh, it was important not only to St. Louis and to the neighborhood, but really internationally. A day after flames knocked down this two-story brick building in the Central West End, friends reminisce on the magic that came out of it. Flowers and pictures sit in front of Bob Kramer's marionettes, the studio theater and home of the renowned puppeteers who kept it going. And in her mouth moves up in here. Bob Kramer is still officially unaccounted for, but Saturday afternoon, a body was found in the debris. His partner, Doug Felch, is recovering from injuries suffered in the fire. Hello. The duo entertained masses with their crafted puppets for five decades. They were the kind of neighbors everyone would want. Kind, loving, generous, uh, a committed couple professionally and personally. The couple's longtime friend, Harold Carabell, says when the fire started Friday night in the studio on Laclede Avenue, Doug and Bob were upstairs in their living quarters. And Doug told me they were watching TV. He and Bob were watching TV, and then they smelled something that smelled like a barbecue. And then they rushed downstairs, and then it erupted into flames. Friends can only wonder why Kramer didn't make it out. Bob and the puppets were, were inseparable, absolutely inseparable. Uh, I think he would have done what you described. I think he would have done it to save his beloved pets as well. So it's one possible scenario. As crews work to knock down what's left of the burned structure, neighbors are sad to see such a staple in shambles. Oh, it was sad to kind of hear everybody last night kind of reminiscing. Everybody seemed to have very fond, uh, you know, recollections. But say the history inside should be a lesson. And we just need to treasure every moment we're safe and alive. The West Pine Laclede Neighborhood Association has created a GoFundMe fundraiser to support Bob and Doug. We'll have a link to that posted on the story at KSDK.com. We are live in the Central West End tonight. Travis Cummings, 5 on your side. All right, Travis, thanks for that update.